So Misfits 08 is going to be happening this Saturday, July 26th in Nashville, Tennessee, and this card, unlike previous cards, is going to be a little different. For the main event, instead of the traditional 1v1 boxing matches, they'll be introducing a new gimmick which is the 4-man survivor tag. The people participating in this are of course Swarms, B-Dave, Ryan Johnston, and Nick Lamau. Also, the co-main event would be the return of the tag team matches, but this time it's going to be Dean the Great and a mystery opponent versus Yuddy Gang and A-Pop. So our main fights for this card are going to be strictly tag team and survivor tags, which is a first for Misfits and I guess any boxing event in history. While many people think this card will go well, and will probably be the best Misfits card to date, there's some people that are somewhat skeptical. I mean, yeah, on the surface, even when I first saw the card, I was like, oh, what? The fact they were using a previous gimmick tag team as a co-main event, and the main event being this new gimmick survivor tag, I was quite confused. Honestly, I'm not going to say this card is shit or anything. I think it's just best to wait and see how it all goes out. But now that begs the question of this video. Are these tag teams or Misfits WWE gimmicks going to be the death of YouTube boxing? Now this is going to be pretty controversial, but I feel like not exactly. Misfits have already established they're going for a more WWE-S style, rather than focusing purely on boxing. They want to also entertain the people and spice things up. With the last tag team match, it was well received and bought a lot of eyeballs even outside of the Misfits community. And to be fair, I feel like it was one of the only good things about Misfits 05. Wade Plemons, a guy who's well known for covering influencer boxing and for giving breakdowns, he had his own opinions and concerns on Misfits pushing this tag team narrative, as he believes that it takes away the magic of what made influencer boxing as big as it is today. He had an argument with Keemstar about it a couple weeks ago on a Twitter space, where he claimed that what made YouTube boxing special in the first place was the storylines and two men settling their personal beefs in the ring. However, Keem clapped back saying that YouTube boxing was all about entertainment, but eventually got more serious as the years went on. Now what do I personally think? I'm kind of in the middle of both of their opinions. Yes, I agree with Keemstar and it's actually a good thing they're coming up with these ideas to spice up the influencer boxing scene rather than just keep it the same old way. Especially with the current nature of many fighters not promoting their fights, introducing tag teams, mystery opponents, and now survivor tag already builds up that hype as these gimmicks are not usually seen in traditional boxing. However, I do understand where Wade is coming from. Wade is worried that these gimmicks will take over and we'll start to see less traditional 1v1 fights in this scene. Just like Wade, I also have a little concern that they shouldn't overdo it and I feel like these gimmicks should be lower on the card, in my personal opinion. I mean, I guess they're trying to emulate what the WWE does with Royal Rumble and such. These gimmicks aren't like the death of YouTube boxing necessarily, but overdoing it could kill the hype for YouTube boxing in the coming years and take away the magic of what made it special in the first place. My personal suggestion is maybe doing one tag team or one survivor tag every other card. That way it keeps things fresh, and people that are a fan of the 1v1 storyline matches can also appreciate having a card they enjoy. But again, these are my personal suggestions on what they should do with these gimmicks so people don't get bored of it. But either way, these tag teams and survivor tags have potential to do very well, but if done correctly. Of course, just don't milk it and shove it onto every single card. Come up with newer concepts and keep things fresh is all I'm asking for. As for my predictions for these fights, can't really give an honest answer. Depending on who the mystery fighter is for the co-main, I feel like skill-wise Dean should take the win. For the survivor tag, this is going to be interesting. Right now, I think Nick Lamau is my favorite to win this bout, but I don't know how exactly it'll go, so we'll just have to see, wait and see what happens on Saturday. But yeah, these are my overall thoughts on this card. Not really much to say about all that. I'm still looking forward to this event either way as there are some other good fights on this undercard like Anthony Taylor vs Paul Bamba, Hasim Rahman Jr vs Alan Belcher, etc. Anyways, that's all I got for y'all today. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what y'all think about this card and the future of Misfits Boxing in the comments below. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell to never miss out on new videos. Also, if you are new here, like I've been plugging for a while, I started a new series called the YouTube Boxing Retrospective where I go over the complete history of YouTube Boxing but in different parts. Episode 1 and 2 are out right now and I plan on starting episode 3 very soon as I feel it'll be even bigger than the last two, but in the meantime check out those episodes. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, I am Mega Shadow signing out, peace.